welcome to this uh, workshop and that is organized together with the um, Commission and the uh, European Chemicals Agency. And I think that uh, it's really, I think, that our uh, intention today to uh, look into the kind of need of update their labels for hazardous chemicals by June next year. The 1st of June 2015, that is the date that we're working towards because from that date onwards the new rules of the CLP regulation become mandatory for chemical mixtures and replace the old system of classification, labeling and packaging of substances and mixtures. So what is going to change? Well, the most conspicuous change, that's the new hazard pictograms. The old orange squares are replaced by red diamonds. But, of course, it's much, much more than that. Because duty holders will have to reclassify their products based on the product's hazards and relabel their products, as well as often repackage them. And that is a real challenge. In order to reach out to the companies themselves, we need support by member states, regions and business organizations who are much closer and even easier to reach the companies and better understand the SME's needs. This is why we have invited you to the workshop today. It's uh, seen as the last wake-up call before the June 2015 deadline. SMEs play an important part of the chemical industry. I think we heard 96% of the chemical companies are SMEs. They are active at different levels. It's not just formulators, but it's substance, mixtures, mixtures of mixtures, and finally articles. So we need to address the full supply chain to ensure safe use of chemicals. 2015 is going to be an essential deadline for, especially for those who are placing mixtures on the European market or importing mixtures to the European market. And a lot of companies in this area are SMEs. So this is the main reason why we should focus on them. First, they need to understand their duties. And uh, SMEs uh, need to speak in their local language very often. They need some simple tools. They need to understand their responsibilities at all levels. You can rely on the experience you have with the old legislation, but be careful, look into the details. Many things have changed, and you should get really into it and check your substances, your mixtures, and apply the rules and eventually you will need resources and you will need time to do that. There's not just one SME. There are different types of SMEs. Some have expertise, some don't. So some are ready, some are less ready, and we, it, we really need to all work together to spread this message. Yes, it's essential. We'll sell a lot of different products. We need to update our computer systems. We have to manage new levels. We have to notify our products to the uh, anti-poison centers. We have to do a lot of work, new work, but there's no change. We have to do it. As a help desk, we receive, uh, let's say, on the whole legislation, biocides reach and CLP about 3,000 questions per year. And now on CLP especially, we receive about 600 and the number are increasing. For us as a help desk in Germany, we had since the beginning SMEs as a very important uh, interest group. And so we focus on SMEs from the beginning and they ask many questions that are very important to the whole supply chain. We have to provide a regulatory environment which is predictable and tools that are usable. Another item on my screen is to facilitate SME access to finance for innovation and substitution. We need to be aware also of the cash flow problems that compliance with REACH and CLP can bring about. So this is a cost and effort that we have to respect, but where we can also support them in doing that. Reclassification and relabeling will be necessary, but it is doable, it will be expensive, but time is also available for that.